Welcome to another enlightening session on Rumi and Friends, where we delve into the profound world of Stoicism, intertwined with the timeless wisdom of Persian poets like Rumi and Hafez. Today we embark on a journey inward with day four of our free course, watching oneself. Have you ever wondered what secrets lie in the depths of your thoughts and actions? This question isn't just a philosophical musing, it's the gateway to understanding ourselves and navigating life with wisdom. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that has stood the test of time, teaches us the art of introspection, a skill that has the power to transform our lives. In today's session, we'll explore the Stoic practice of self-awareness, where we learn to observe our minds and actions with the clarity of a philosopher and the depth of a poet. We'll unravel the Stoic concept of synedesis or moral consciousness, which is not just about knowing what's right or wrong, but deeply understanding our inner moral compass. As Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. These words aren't just a quote. They are a reflection of the Stoic belief in the power of the mind. Alongside, we'll draw inspiration from the mystical verses of Rumi and Hafez, who guide us through the inner landscapes of the soul. Today is not just about learning. It's about transforming. It's about recognizing the patterns in our thoughts, emotions and behaviors and understanding how these shape our lives. We'll engage in guided meditations, journaling activities and group discussions, all designed to enhance our self-awareness and mold our responses to life's varied situations. By the end of this session, you'll not only gain insights into Stoicism and its approach to introspection, but also practical techniques to apply these timeless principles in your daily life. So, let's begin this journey of self-discovery together, remembering the words of Hafez, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. Stay tuned as we embark on this transformative journey, uncovering the layers of our minds and souls, and learning to navigate life with the wisdom of the Stoics and the insight of great poets. This is Rumi and Friends, where philosophy meets poetry and introspection becomes a pathway to enlightenment. 1. Introduction to Stoic Introspection The Importance of Self-Awareness in Stoicism In the realm of Stoicism, self-awareness is not just a practice but a vital cornerstone. The Stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus placed immense value on the art of introspection. For them, understanding oneself was the key to understanding the world. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, often reflected on the nature of his thoughts and actions, urging himself and us, the readers, to scrutinize our innermost workings. Hafez, a Persian poet whose wisdom often mirrors that of Stoic teachings, eloquently stated, the words you speak become the house you live in. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of self-awareness in Stoicism. It implies that our thoughts and words are not just fleeting echoes, but they shape the very reality we inhabit. For Stoics, introspection is a tool to attain a harmonious life. It is through this self-examination that one can align with nature's rational order leading to a state of eudaimonia or flourishing. Epictetus emphasized this when he said, Know first who you are, and then adorn yourself accordingly. This is a call to understand our true selves, our virtues and vices, our strengths and weaknesses, and to live in a manner that is congruent with our true nature. In today's world, where external influences often drown out our inner voice, the practice of stoic introspection becomes even more critical. It's not about introspecting for the sake of self-criticism, but for self-improvement and growth. It's about observing our thoughts, 
understanding our emotions and realizing that while we might not control external events, we have the power to control our perceptions and reactions. Therefore, as we delve into Stoic introspection, let's remember the words of Rumi. Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. This journey into self-awareness is not just about gaining knowledge, it's about transforming our lives from the inside out. Stoic views on observing one's own mind and actions. The Stoic philosophy places a strong emphasis on observing one's own mind and actions, a practice deeply rooted in the teachings of philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus. They believed in the profound power of self-observation as a means to achieve personal growth and inner peace. Marcus Aurelius, in his personal writings, often encouraged a deep and honest reflection on one's thoughts and deeds. He believed that by observing our mind, we could uncover the roots of our desires and aversions and thereby gain control over them. His famous quote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength, highlights this belief. It suggests that by closely watching our thoughts and actions, we can better understand our reactions to the world around us and in turn exercise greater control over our responses. Similarly, Epictetus emphasized the importance of self-scrutiny in his teachings. He argued that individuals should constantly monitor their thoughts and judgments, as these are the only things truly within their control. This focus on internal observation aligns closely with the Stoic goal of living a life of virtue and reason. In parallel, Persian poets like Hafez and Rumi often spoke of self-reflection in their verses. Rumi, for instance, said, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. This mirrors the stoic belief in the power of self-awareness. It's about turning the gaze inward to understand and improve oneself, rather than attempting to alter the external world. For modern-day followers of Stoicism, observing one's own mind and actions is not just a philosophical exercise, it's a practical tool for living a more fulfilled and balanced life. It involves a constant, gentle vigilance over our internal landscape, watching our thoughts, emotions and reactions without judgment, but with the intent to learn and grow. As we practice this form of self-observation, we develop a deeper understanding of our true selves, leading to a life more in harmony with our values and principles. This, in essence, is what Stoicism teaches, a path to tranquility and contentment through self-awareness and mindful living. The Stoic concept of synaidesis, moral consciousness, and its role in self-reflection. The Stoic concept of synaidesis, or moral consciousness, plays a pivotal role in self-reflection and personal development. This idea, deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy, emphasizes the inner moral compass that guides individuals in discerning right from wrong and acting accordingly. It is this internal sense of ethical awareness that Stoics like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus considered essential for living a virtuous life. Marcus Aurelius, in his contemplative writings, often referred to the inner voice of moral reason, emphasizing its importance in guiding one's actions and thoughts. He believed that this inner voice, if heeded, could lead to a life of integrity and virtue. His guidance was straightforward. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This directly ties into the concept of synedesis, where the focus is on self-assessment and alignment of actions with one's internal moral principles. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, echoed similar sentiments. He often discussed the role of conscience in guiding ethical behavior, 
asserting that true peace of mind comes from living in accordance with one's own values. He believed that a clear conscience and moral integrity were the cornerstones of a well-lived life. The concept of sanidesis is not just limited to Stoic philosophy. It finds resonance in the works of Persian poets like Rumi and Hafez, who also emphasized the importance of inner moral guidance. Rumi, for instance, beautifully captured this in his quote, let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. This mirrors the Stoic belief in following one's moral intuition, suggesting that true fulfillment comes from aligning with one's inner truths. In practicing Sini Dizes, individuals are encouraged to constantly engage in self-reflection, examining their motives, actions and decisions through the lens of their moral values. It's about asking oneself, am I living true to my principles? Am I acting justly with integrity and compassion? This ongoing process of introspection fosters a deep sense of self-awareness and ethical responsibility, guiding individuals towards a life of virtue and meaning. In summary, the Stoic concept of synaidesis is integral to the philosophy's emphasis on ethical living and self-awareness. By nurturing this inner moral consciousness, Individuals are better equipped to navigate the complexities of life, making choices that reflect their deepest values and contributing positively to the world around them. 2. Benefits of watching oneself Recognizing patterns in thoughts, emotions and behaviors Recognizing patterns in our thoughts, emotions and behaviors is a profound benefit of watching oneself, a practice deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. This process of introspection and self-observation allows us to understand the habitual responses we have to the world around us, and more importantly, offers a pathway to personal growth and self-improvement. Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus emphasized the significance of self-awareness in leading a life of virtue and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, often reflected on the nature of his thoughts and actions, advocating for a vigilant awareness of one's internal state. He believed that by understanding our habitual responses, we could begin to control them and align them with rational thought and virtue. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength, he wrote, highlighting the empowerment that comes from self-awareness. Seneca, too, spoke of the importance of understanding oneself, suggesting that true wisdom comes from deep self-examination. He proposed that by observing our emotions and reactions, we can begin to understand the root causes of our behaviors and consequently work towards improving them. Epictetus, another prominent Stoic, placed great emphasis on observing one's reactions to external events. He taught that while we cannot control external events, we can control our reactions to them. By recognizing our automatic responses, we can start to change them cultivating a more serene and composed demeanor. The practice of watching oneself is not only found in Stoic philosophy, but also resonates with the teachings of Persian poets like Rumi and Hafez. Rumi, for instance, spoke about the journey inward, saying, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. This aligns with the Stoic practice of self-observation as a means to personal transformation. The benefits of recognizing patterns in our thoughts, emotions and behaviors are manifold. It leads to a better understanding of oneself, enhances emotional intelligence and fosters a sense of inner peace. It allows us to break free from negative patterns and habits and align our actions with our values and principles. By watching ourselves, we embark on a journey of continuous self-improvement, where each observation becomes an opportunity for personal growth 
and ethical development. In summary, the stoic practice of watching oneself and recognizing patterns in our internal states is a powerful tool for personal development. It enables us to live more consciously, make more rational decisions, and ultimately lead a life that is in harmony with our deepest values and principles. The role of self-observation in personal growth and ethical development. The role of self-observation in personal growth and ethical development is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, echoed in the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, and paralleled in the poetic wisdom of Rumi and Hafez. This practice is not just about understanding ourselves better, it's about evolving into the best versions of ourselves, ethically and personally. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, often journaled as a form of self-reflection, examining his own thoughts and actions in the light of Stoic virtues. He believed that through self-observation, one could cultivate qualities like humility, patience and resilience. His writings often urge us to look inward, stating, look within. Within is the fountain of good, and it will ever bubble up if thou wilt ever dig. This introspection is not just about self-improvement, but also about aligning oneself with a moral compass that guides every action. Seneca, another significant Stoic figure, emphasized the importance of self-scrutiny in ethical development. He argued that understanding our motivations, emotions and thoughts is essential for leading a life of virtue. Seneca's letters often encourage a reflective practice, advising us to examine our day's actions every night, to understand where we went wrong and how we can improve. He saw this as a way to cultivate moral excellence and inner peace. Epictetus, known for his practical approach to Stoicism, taught that self-observation was crucial in responding appropriately to life's challenges. He believed that by understanding our habitual reactions, we could start to change them, aligning our responses with reason and virtue. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters, he famously said, highlighting the power of self-awareness in ethical conduct. The teachings of Persian poets like Rumi and Hafez also resonate with these Stoic principles. Rumi's poetry often explores themes of self-awareness and personal growth, urging readers to delve deep into their own hearts and minds to discover their true nature. He famously wrote, Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. This introspective journey is seen as essential for personal and spiritual growth. Hafez, similarly, speaks of self-reflection as a path to enlightenment and ethical living. His poems encourage an honest examination of one's own thoughts and feelings as a way to develop wisdom and compassion. In essence, the role of self-observation in Stoicism and these parallel teachings is fundamental to personal growth and ethical development. It enables us to recognize and change unhelpful patterns, align our actions with our values and lead a life of virtue. Through this practice, we not only improve ourselves, but also contribute positively to the world around us. This journey of introspection and self-awareness is a lifelong process, one that constantly challenges us to be better, more ethical human beings. 3. Exercises on Stoic Mindfulness and Self-Reflection Guided Meditation Observing One's Thoughts and Emotions Without Judgment in the exercise of guided meditation for observing one's thoughts and emotions without judgment, participants are invited to explore the stoic practice of mindfulness and self-reflection. This exercise draws upon the teachings of stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, 
as well as the poetic insights of Hafez and Rumi, to guide individuals in a journey of inner observation and awareness. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, repeatedly emphasizes the importance of observing one's own mind. He advocates for a non-judgmental awareness of thoughts, understanding that they are not always within our control, but our reactions to them are. Aurelius advises, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This guidance forms the core of the meditation exercise, encouraging participants to watch their thoughts and emotions as a bystander without attaching themselves to these mental events. Seneca, another pillar of Stoicism, echoes this sentiment in his letters, where he discusses the importance of self-reflection and awareness. He advises the practice of looking inward and examining one's thoughts and motives. Seneca's words, We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more in imagination than in reality, resonate with the idea of observing thoughts without being swayed by them. Epictetus, known for his practical approach to Stoicism, emphasizes the role of self-examination in achieving freedom and tranquility. His teachings include the idea that our perceptions and judgments shape our experiences. In the guided meditation, participants practice Epictetus's idea of observing thoughts and emotions as separate from their core self, an exercise in distinguishing between what we can control, our responses, and what we cannot, the thoughts and emotions themselves. The poetry of Rumi and Hafez adds a profound dimension to this exercise. Rumi's verse, The wound is the place where the light enters you, encourages participants to observe their emotions, even the painful ones, as pathways to deeper understanding and growth. Hafez's poetry, with its emphasis on embracing all aspects of the self, including the contradictions and complexities, complements the practice of non-judgmental observation. This guided meditation, therefore, is not just an exercise in Stoic mindfulness, but also an immersion into the rich, philosophical and poetic traditions that emphasize self-awareness and introspection. It is an invitation to participants to become more aware of their inner landscape, to observe their thoughts and emotions as they arise, and to learn from them, all in a spirit of non-judgment and open-mindedness. This practice not only aids in cultivating a stoic mindset, but also enriches one's understanding of the self, as echoed in the timeless wisdom of both stoic philosophy and Persian poetry. Journaling activity, documenting daily reactions to various situations and analyzing them through a stoic lens. The journaling activity in our session on watching oneself is designed to encourage participants to document their daily reactions to various situations, then analyze them through a stoic lens. This reflective exercise combines the practical wisdom of stoic philosophy with the poetic insights of Hafez and Rumi, enabling a deeper understanding of personal experiences and responses. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent stoic philosopher, often wrote in his meditations about the significance of reflecting upon one's actions and thoughts. He believed in the power of self-examination to cultivate inner strength and resilience. Following his example, participants are encouraged to write about their daily experiences, examining their reactions and emotions. Aurelius's guidance, look within. Within is the fountain of good, and it will ever bubble up, if thou wilt ever dig serves as a reminder to delve into personal experiences and learn from them. Seneca, another influential Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of self-awareness and learning from one's experiences. He advised reviewing one's actions and thoughts to understand oneself better. Through journaling, participants can explore Seneca's idea that understanding and transforming our thoughts can lead to a more peaceful, and contented life. Epictetus, 
known for his pragmatic approach to Stoicism, taught that it is not events themselves that disturb people, but their judgments about those events. In this journaling activity, participants are guided to separate their reactions from the events, focusing on their perceptions and judgments. This aligns with Epictetus' teaching, men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. Incorporating the poetic wisdom of Rumi and Hafez, the journaling exercise also becomes an exploration of the deeper emotional and spiritual aspects of one's experiences. Rumi's words, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself, resonate with the stoic practice of focusing on personal change rather than external circumstances. Hafez's poetry, with its emphasis on embracing life's paradoxes and finding joy in every moment, adds a layer of emotional depth and introspection to the journaling process. Through this activity, participants are not only practicing a key aspect of Stoic introspection, but are also engaging with a rich tapestry of philosophical and poetic thought. This journaling exercise offers a unique opportunity to reflect on daily experiences, understand emotional reactions, and cultivate a mindset of growth, resilience, and inner peace, guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and the enchanting words of Persian poetry. 4. Techniques to improve self-observation Introduction to the Stoic practice of evening reflection to review the day's actions. In our exploration of techniques to improve self-observation, we turn to the Stoic practice of evening reflection. This practice, deeply rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, is a powerful tool for reviewing the day's actions and cultivating self-awareness. Marcus Aurelius, in his personal writings, often reflected on his actions and thoughts at the end of the day. He believed in the importance of questioning oneself, of asking whether his actions were just, whether they were aligned with his values, and how they could be improved. Aurelius's approach to evening reflection was not about dwelling on mistakes or regretting past actions, but rather about learning and growing from each day's experiences. His famous quote, When you arise in the morning, Think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Extends to the evening, where we appreciate the day's experiences and learn from them. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, also emphasized the significance of daily reflection. He advised reviewing one's actions each day to understand oneself better and make necessary corrections. He believed that this practice leads to a life of virtue and wisdom. Seneca's teachings encourage us to look at our day critically and compassionately, identifying areas of strength and those needing improvement. Epictetus, with his practical approach to Stoicism, taught that the key to tranquility lies in focusing on what is within our control. In the context of evening reflection, this means analyzing our responses to the day's events, rather than the events themselves. Epictetus's guidance helps us focus on our reactions and decisions, understanding that these are within our power to change. Incorporating the poetic wisdom of Rumi and Hafez, the practice of evening reflection becomes not just a logical review of the day's actions, but also an emotional and spiritual introspection. Rumi's words, the wound is the place where the light enters you, remind us that reflecting on our challenges and setbacks is a pathway to growth and enlightenment. Hafez, with his deep understanding of life's complexities, encourages us to embrace our imperfections and learn from them, as echoed in his verse, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness the astonishing light of your own being. Through the practice of evening reflection, participants are encouraged to look back at their day with a stoic lens, 
asking themselves how they reacted to various situations, what they did well, and where there is room for improvement. This practice is not about self-criticism, but about self-improvement and growth. By reflecting on the day's actions and emotions, participants can learn to be more mindful, more compassionate, and more aligned with their core values, guided by the wisdom of both Stoic philosophy and Persian poetry. Crafting a personalized Stoic self-reflection routine. Crafting a personalized Stoic self-reflection routine is a profound step toward self-improvement and inner peace. This practice, deeply rooted in the philosophies of Stoicism, is about creating a daily habit of introspection and mindfulness by drawing on the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, and incorporating the poetic wisdom of Hafez and Rumi. One can develop a routine that not only fosters self-awareness, but also nurtures the soul. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, offered a blueprint for self-reflection. He wrote extensively about examining one's thoughts and actions and learning from them. His approach was not to dwell on mistakes, but to use them as stepping stones for personal growth. As Aurelius stated, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By internalizing this message, one can focus their self-reflection on cultivating positive and constructive thoughts. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of daily self-examination. He believed that by reviewing our actions and decisions at the end of each day, we could live more intentionally and virtuously. As Seneca said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This quote underscores the importance of focusing on the present moment during self-reflection, rather than worrying about past mistakes or future uncertainties. Epictetus taught the significance of differentiating between what is within our control and what is not. This principle can be a cornerstone of one's self-reflection routine, guiding individuals to focus on their reactions and choices rather than external events. Epictetus's teachings remind us to ask ourselves whether our reactions to daily events were within the realm of our control and how we might respond more effectively in the future. Integrating the poetic insights of Hafez and Rumi adds a layer of emotional depth and spiritual insight to the self-reflection routine. Rumi's versa, yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today, I am wise, so I am changing myself, resonates with the Stoic practice of focusing on personal change. Similarly, Hafez's poetry often reflects on themes of love, faith and introspection, offering a contemplative dimension to the self-reflection process. In crafting a personalized routine, one might begin by setting aside a quiet time each evening to review the day's events. This could involve meditating on questions inspired by the Stoic philosophers, journaling thoughts and experiences, and reflecting on poetic verses that speak to the heart. The key is to create a routine that is both consistent and meaningful. One that encourages a deep exploration of one's inner landscape and fosters a sense of peace and self-understanding. By incorporating the wisdom of Stoicism and Persian poetry, this self-reflection routine becomes more than just a daily habit. It becomes a journey towards a more mindful, compassionate and enlightened self. Role-playing challenging situations and practicing Stoic mindfulness in responses. Role-playing challenging situations and practicing Stoic mindfulness in responses is an effective exercise to cultivate resilience and self-awareness. This approach aligns closely with the teachings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus and can be enriched with the poetic wisdom of Hafez and Rumi. It helps individuals not only to understand the Stoic principles but to live them in their daily lives. Marcus Aurelius, 
the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, often wrote about the importance of facing adversity with equanimity and strength. He said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote is particularly relevant in role-playing scenarios, where participants can practice controlling their reactions and emotions, regardless of the external situation. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized the value of being prepared for life's challenges. He famously stated, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. In role-playing exercises, this idea can be brought to life. Participants can explore their fears and anxieties in a controlled environment, helping them to realize that often, the worry is worse than the event itself. Epictetus, known for his practical approach to Stoicism, taught that it is not events themselves that disturb people, but their judgments about them. In role-playing, this teaching can be applied by examining how different responses to the same challenging situation can lead to vastly different outcomes. This practice encourages individuals to reassess their perceptions and judgments in difficult times. Incorporating the wisdom of Persian poets like Hafez and Rumi can add a deeper, more reflective dimension to these exercises. Rumi's words, the wound is the place where the light enters you, can be a powerful reminder during role-playing that challenges and difficulties are opportunities for growth and enlightenment. In role-playing exercises, participants can be presented with various difficult scenarios, personal or professional, and are encouraged to respond as they normally would. Then they can be guided to try different responses based on Stoic principles, such as focusing on what is within their control, accepting what cannot be changed, and maintaining composure and empathy. Through this process, they can learn to observe their habitual patterns and start cultivating more mindful and considered reactions. By integrating Stoic philosophy and the poetic insights of Rumi and Hafez, role-playing can become a transformative tool. It helps individuals not only to understand Stoic teachings at an intellectual level, but also to internalize and apply them in real-life situations, fostering a more resilient, aware, and harmonious way of living. 5. Conclusion and Homework As we conclude today's session on Stoic introspection and the practice of watching oneself, Let's take a moment to reflect on the rich teachings and insights we've explored. Throughout the day, we delve deep into the heart of Stoicism, guided by the timeless wisdom of philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus, and enriched by the poetic insights of Hafez and Rumi. These teachings emphasize the profound value of self-awareness, introspection, and the mindful observation of our thoughts, emotions, and actions. Marcus Aurelius, a figure central to Stoic philosophy, reminds us of the importance of self-reflection with his words, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This idea resonates deeply with the practice of evening reflection, where we take time each day to review our thoughts and actions, learning to cultivate more positive and constructive mindsets. Seneca, with his pragmatic approach to Stoicism, taught us about the power of self-control and rational thought. He advised, We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. This wisdom underscores the importance of our daily evening reflection practice, encouraging us to separate our unfounded fears from our true experiences. Epictetus, known for his emphasis on focusing on what is within our control, reminds us that we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. This sentiment is a guiding principle in our reflections, helping us to focus on our responses and attitudes rather than external events. Complementing these Stoic teachings, the poetic words of Rumi and Hafez offer a deeper, 
more emotional connection to the practice of introspection. Rumi's saying, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. Aligns perfectly with our journey of self-observation and transformation. For our homework, I encourage each of you to commit to a week of the evening reflection practice. Take a few moments each night to document your observations, thoughts and feelings about the day's events. Reflect on how you reacted to different situations and consider how you might apply Stoic principles to improve your responses. This practice is not just an exercise, but a journey towards greater self-awareness, inner peace and personal growth. As we continue this journey together, let us remember the words of Hafez, who beautifully said, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness the astonishing light of your own being. Through our practice of stoic introspection, we are not just observing ourselves, we are discovering the light within, learning to shine it more brightly every day. Till next time, stay with the Creator.